And so I guess people are usually doing sub Sundays. Um, oh, so they're going to Subway? <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that, but if people want to buy some subs, that's great. I know that um, there aren't as many incentives since I still need to do the rest of our emotes. But um, anyway, uh, we're going to do some puzzles today. And Spencer's Hooray. <laughs> Spencer's picking them out right now, so we're just going to wait a minute, give a couple of people a chance to show up, and then we're going to just dig right in. I could play, since you're doing that, I could play a couple of people, too. That's smart. If, um, if some show up. Let me see who's streaming right now, see what sort of competition we've got. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Didn't mean to press that. Anyway, it doesn't look like there are a lot of people streaming, but there are a few people. Anyway, we've been. Hey, Bishop takes. Hey, Fraud with. We're gonna do some puzzles. We're just waiting a minute. Hey, Neuro. We're just waiting on people to get here. No, the usual suspects, huh? <laughs> nice. And um, I hope everybody's having a nice weekend. Um, and what, what and Spencer was telling me about his karaoke last night. <laughs> who is Kaiser Sose? <laughs> hey, who did um? Well, what did you sing? I sang "People Are Strange." Oh yeah, you told me that, and that was the only thing you sang. Yeah, yeah. it was a new one. I never mm -hmm. sang that before, mm -hmm. but I crushed it. Mm -hmm. It's not a very difficult song. It's also only like two minutes long. Oh, okay. But there's almost no, it's like a great karaoke song because there's almost no like musical solos. Yeah, like, that where is. Where you have to just stand there like, yeah, that is you know, nice. for 30 seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a couple of breaks, but they're only like 10 seconds each or 15 seconds each, maybe. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. How do I play the King's Indian versus E4, says Cameron? That would be called a Peartz, <laughs> which is slightly different. Hey, try not to learn. You like that song Bishop Takes? I'm scared to go to karaoke now because they moved it back inside. It's still pretty safe in there because they got the fans going, they got the doors open, all the the staff's all wearing masks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's usually less than 20 people. Hey, kangaroo. Like, we're all social distancing. Yeah. I mean, there's always at least a seat in, in between me and the next person at the bar. Okay. Hey, Pablito. So it's about as safe as it can be, I guess. Okay, I will play you trying not to learn. Well, I um, maybe I'll go back. But I yeah, plus I'm only usually there for like an hour. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to stay there for too long, like you're saying. Because of COVID. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could go and just sit out on the patio, but then it'd be by myself. And then when they call me, I go in and sing and then go back outside. Right. <laughs> that seems a little weird. Part of the fun for me is seeing the other people sing. The other, uh, yesterday, or, or maybe it was Thursday, I think it was yesterday, uh, this dude was, uh, he was like always outside smoking, and then when they called him, he came in. Oh, okay. Well, that does happen, too. His name was Jared, I remember, because Jared from Subway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I know him. No, I've never seen him there before. He sang Rawhide. Oh, he did? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Oh, you're playing him already? Mm -hmm. Nice. Still Got trying it. to pick out some puzzles. Go, Karen. London with black, huh? <laughs> They're asking about puzzles versus books. How much time should a beginner spend on puzzles versus playing games versus reading books? Well, reading books is by far the last thing that's there's the least most important of those three by quite a bit. But yeah, it depends on how like how beginner you are. Like the the stronger a player is, the more they should be studying relative to playing 
Like, let's say you're a super GM, like Aronian or something, right? Aronian should be studying chess, like, to it, it, at least, you know, 15 to 1 ratio of studying to chess, chess to playing chess. Whereas if you take somebody who's, like, under 1,000, it's sort of the reverse. You should be playing a lot of chess and not studying it as much. And if you do study chess, studying your own games and studying tactics. Hangs Mate One subscribed. Thanks, Hangs Mate One. Yay! Hey, Hangs Mate One. Thank you for subscribing. And tactics should be like no matter what your rating is, you should be doing tactics every day. You know, a little bit, at least thirty minutes to an hour is fine for your daily tactics training. And I mentioned this before that daily tactics training is different than like calculation training. Daily tactics training, you should be spending less than five minutes on a puzzle and trying to uh, build your pattern recognition, not trying to uh, increase like the ability that you can calculate like 10 moves or 15 moves accurately, for example. So yeah, it depends on, on who you are, what your rating is, and also what you like to do, because you want to have fun when you're playing chess. And if, it's, if you're doing something that's not fun, you won't want to play chess anymore. So then you won't get better. Mm hmm True. I agree with that. I like the game Karen is playing. Yeah, chess? You are playing chess. Mm hmm And you're playing it pretty well. Do you think our game rating should be a specific percentage of our puzzle rating, or is there no clear connection? Hmm, it's a tough question. I don't really know much about like online puzzle readings to give an informed answer there. Really, but I wouldn't worry about the puzzle rating so much. I came here for Bob Ross. Oh, from Bob mm -hmm. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam Mortlock. Yeah, I do like Bob Ross, R.I.P. I like when he'd have his uh, little his squirrel buddies on the show. You guys ever see those? Mm -mm. Yeah, he'd have like little squirrel. He like takes care of squirrels, like baby squirrels. And so he'd show them on the, on his show sometimes. He'd always call them little devils. <laughs> hmm. I didn't realize that you were such a huge Bob... Ross fan. Oh, yeah, I've seen, uh, well, I wouldn't say I'm the hugest Bob Ross fan, but I've seen dozens and dozens of his, uh, of his shows about paintings. And, yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's a nice show. Yeah, who doesn't like Bob Ross? You have to be crazy <laughs> not to. Yeah, I don't know much about him except for I used to, when I was probably 20, I'm going to say, I worked in an art supply warehouse in Atlanta, Royal Arts and Crafts, that's no longer with us. And one of my jobs was I was in charge of the art books in the warehouse. And so I, would, I was very familiar at that time with all of the Bob Ross instructional materials. Yeah. Oh, I'm just in here talking. Well, he just moved. <laughs> I know, this is why. <laughs> It is unlawful to put squirrels down your pants for the purposes of gambling. What? That's from uh, The Simpsons. Oh. Double it up. Double mint gum. Mm-hmm. This pawn got out of control, huh? I hate when that happens. I still don't know who's better here. Mm -hmm. Although it's probably black. I'm still not sure. Gotta sack the exchange here, right? Come on. That'd be <laughs> crazy not to. I mean, I would. But what do I know? Hmm. 
And now I have rawhide stuck in my head. Yeah. Rawhide. Did you ever see uh, the Blues Brothers? I saw that a really long time ago. They sang that song in that movie. He's got a whip and everything. <laughs> oh, we got a noise. Yeah. Frapp Frappuccino's Thank hosting. Thank you, Frapp. Nice. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I gotta be honest. If you program a computer with all fine gold rules, how low its ELO would be? Probably about 2,000. <laughs> All right, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just going to do something just so that there's something going on. Well, nobody really knows what they're supposed to do in a chess game. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what not to do. <laughs> Hang Maiden 1. <laughs> yeah, where's Hang's Maiden 1? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Living up to your name, Hang's Maiden 1. Hey, Frap, how's it going? Fine goals, rules were meant to be broken. Like most <laughs> rules, yes. <laughs> Good game. Try not to learn. <laughs> Proud of me for breaking the rules. I had to do something. It's like nothing going on in that game. <laughs> um, anyway, nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's true. So. Proud of you for hanging mate in one. <laughs> All right, well, maybe I should play another game. Do you, how are we doing with the puzzles there? I've got a couple already, but like, give me mm -hmm. a, a couple more minutes to find mm -hmm. you know, maybe one more game's worth. All right, I'm going to play another game. Before I play it, we're going to chat for a second. So did any – oh, you want to analyze? Yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah, let me just talk for a minute, and then we'll let him analyze it, and then we'll do one more game and then do some puzzles. So did anybody follow the – there's always some kind of chess drama. Yeah, what well, I was – um. I did feel like I was better trying not to learn, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, definitely you were better there. You know, but I felt like I wanted to progress, and I just rushed it. I should have just hunkered down and done nothing. <laughs> anyway, so there's like a couple of different little dramas going on. Did you guys hear about the, um, the ruling with, um, I guess it was India was playing Russia and then they there was this worldwide internet outage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear about this. Yeah, there was a pretty significant global internet issue and I don't know much about it. So anyway, they they lost their games because of it and it was two people at different locations lost their internet at the same time. So it was clearly either uh, chess.com servers or the global issue. And anyway, I think they were blaming it on chess.com. So they appealed it, and the FIDE president, who I guess might be Russian, does anybody know? He recused himself from the appeals committee. I said Ilya Zhuminov or whatever. Is that still him? That sounds right, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, he is Russian. Anyway, he recused himself, and the appeals committee decided that they should, you know, not lose because of the internet outage. Sounds fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, the day before, Armenia lo lost. Right, but weren't they claiming that was Armenia's fault, even though it, like, wasn't? Armenia's, I don't like, think Because so. Armenia said that their, uh, their, like, Zoom was still working. So it wasn't their fault because their Zoom's still working. But then they're like, nah, it's, it still is your fault. That's what I'm saying, though. They didn't seem to have a comprehensive mm -hmm. policy. They, um told Armenia that they would, um, too bad, Go so sad. <laughs> <laughs> so Armenia you know, gave them the middle finger and said, never mind, and went home. But anyway, <laughs> it went differently with India. And, um, yeah, I'm going to play you, Cameron. Hang on. So, um, so anyway, the Russian FIDE president recused himself from the whole situation, and then India won the appeal, and then – there had to be a final ruling, which is made by the FIDE president, and he didn't recuse himself from that. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he decided that um, 
everybody wins. So both India and Russia got the gold. Um, so anyway, that was that scandal. I won't even discuss the other scandal, but there's the other XQC. I, I got to play this guy. I, I thought you were going to analyze this first. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, we're going to analyze this first, and then we'll play. Anyway, there's the whole XQC Hikaru scandal, but I won't go into that because we need to do some chess. We're going to stream a couple hours, Bishop Takes. Probably till 5. Till 5. we'll raid GM Benjamin Feingold. Yeah, Ben, ben yeah, is at 5, so I don't want to overlap him. So usually white doesn't take because it's easy for you to play e5 later. Mm -hmm. Like here you could play e5 and that should equalize pretty easily. So that was better than c5? No, no. This is, I'm saying right here. Both. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, then you could move out your bishop like more easily. The way you play probably equalizes as well, though. I mean, this just looks so easy. Much like Sunday morning. <laughs> No, he now, I wasn't sure here whether to take with the pawn or the bishop, but I wanted Definitely to... not the pawn. Okay, yeah, because I want the bishop out. Well, you don't really want this structure anyway. Okay. Well, maybe you could play c5, Pawn's so maybe. Pawn's kind of weak. But... Okay. Yeah, maybe if you could play c5, it's interesting, but you generally don't want this pawn structure, I guess. Okay, so I did the right thing then. Yeah, bishop takes is good, then you could play bishop b5, so maybe he should play queen e2. Mm -hmm. Either way, you could just play e5, so you, everything should equalize for you. You play e5, it's what's, what's the problem for you. Mm -hmm. That was good. Okay, queen d7's okay. b3 doesn't seem right to me. Just a weakening move. Here, uh, it seems like you could probably take... You probably didn't want to because of some discovered attack. Yeah, I was worried about that. But I don't really see one that's crushing. You know, he goes here, you just move your queen. He's probably losing if he does that because you can move your queen and protect the pawn. Okay. So he'll probably just have to take back, but then you give him an isolated pawn. Mm -hmm. It's a passed I, pawn, but either way he gets a passed pawn. I thought about that. I wasn't sure what to do. I was just worried about the rook. Now, if you didn't like that variation, then you shouldn't have played queen d7 because obviously he's going to put his rook here, mm -hmm. frankly. Yeah. So, uh, like, maybe I wouldn't have done that, but I don't think it's a big deal. Also, I would just be playing e5 all the time. Where, where would I move if I didn't move there? I don't know. I mean, any square looks kind of okay. You want to play b5, b4 like you did, so you probably don't want to go to b6. Mm -hmm. But maybe something like uh, a5. That might be fine. Or even a6. Then you could still play b5 and, and b4. But, uh, you know, you could play a3... But anyways, I mean, your position's so comfortable here, you, you don't really have to do anything. Yeah, okay. I even think queen d7's fine. But yeah, I would pro I would almost certainly take it. Now, this could be a problem. Mm -hmm. Although, maybe it's not, because you could just go like here. Sort of what you did. Okay. Yeah, like, I would play this, probably, so I can keep a little more press. Okay, yeah. And also defend this. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is loose, though. But I, I would just try to play here and win the pawn as soon as possible. That would be my goal. Try to make it look like you did this on purpose and this pawn's weak. Okay. That was a good move. That was good. I think he should take. But, I don't know, that looks bad. Looks like his position's bad. You could even consider to take it, too. Or play e5 here. What's, uh... Oh, e5, no, he stopped that. He's smart enough to stop that, yeah. Yeah? No, it's, it's okay. If you can't play e5, it, it might be tough. If you can't play e5, it might be tough. So you prepared it. And then he again is like trying to stop it. So now you guys were getting the hang of it. You're trying to play e5. He's trying to make it look bad. That's why he played here so that e5 could be met with knife f5. <laughs> Darn. But yeah, basically it was a pretty good game until you hung mate and won. Mm -hmm. You know, that was it really. Seemed like maybe you could have done some different stuff, but every move seemed okay at least. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, nothing too bad. Trying not to learn says, I should have played... A3. 
instead of b3 maybe well b3 is a very weakening move you, you gave yourself a backwards pawn even if karen doesn't play b4 which she didn't have to play then your pawn is weak well i think b4 is fine maybe she didn't have to do it but yeah b3 is not a great move it's a very weakening move and you're, you probably could have lost your c-pawn with with a timely e5 with a more a slightly more precise play there but you can't be so precise in a blitz game you just have to sort of do what the first thing that comes to mind otherwise you'll lose on time mm -hmm. yeah i was trying to keep it moving a little better no it was good it's constant I mean, you did great except for hanging mate yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was it but one mistake's all it takes you're gonna get let's see i'm just looking at karen is cute why thank you artrist <laughs> <laughs> Um, not even interested. Who are those people? <laughs> I remember we, yeah, Dvorkovich is the, is the, uh, the new president, not Ilyushumov anymore. Mm -hmm. He's the old one, but then Dvorkovich in short beat him. That was the ticket. Mm. Okay. I, I vaguely remember all that. Hey, Dork the Cat. Go purple birds, etc. Maybe we can look at your puzzle, Hanks Maiden. One, thank you. Um, we'll do that when we start puzzles. Let me play one more game because I promised Cameron I'd play him, and then we're going to get started on the puzzles. Um, I'm going to refresh this. Real, actually, we'll lose this though. It should just be there. All right, we didn't have that up though. Oh, let me do it. But then it won't be up. I have it up. Oh. I think. Why can't I ever get this over here? Oh, it is left. You just uh, can't be at the bottom, like the toolbar. Uh, is you do have it up. Nice. Yeah, I wonder if it's muted. Yeah, it's over here. Uh-oh. Oh, let me copy it. Oh, you want to go ahead and get it? And yeah, And then I yeah. can refresh. Or while you well, do you that. can always refresh that one. Uh, I talk like Ben to my friend who talks like Ben to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, two bishops, what else? Sounds like a tough life over there. <laughs> 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 All right, let me... All right, Cameron, I'm coming. Hang on. Don't Hold leave. Hold on. Hold do, on. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm a coming. All right. Oh, Cameron's got a good rating, 12 12. Mm hmm. Unrated. Go, Karen. Karen and Cameron. Who would have thought it would be a French? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> soon, soon. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then you didn't pre-move that time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have to pre-move at this point in the game. I should have. And can't hurt. That's it's true. Every second. Recapture. See, that's my problem is I'm always thinking, oh, it's just a couple of seconds. But that adds up. When was the last time you beat Ben Spencer? I don't know who Ben Spencer is. Ben. Comma, comma. Spencer. Oh. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just joking. Um, I don't know. I, we don't play too often <laughs> since neither of us like chess. So we don't really play for fun. Uh, I guess... I don't know. Maybe it was in. Uh, it was just the match that we played. You know, maybe it was just the match that we played. No, I should have moved a three first. Yes, a six. Or a six. I always get it backwards. <laughs> but it's not so bad. Yeah. Because you already castled at least. Mhm. Mm Watching Ben just changes your sense of humor. That's true. Commas save lives. <laughs> I actually beat him two games in that match, Owen. But who's counting? It would be a thrill to watch you two play some games on either of the streams. I guess. Maybe thrilling for you guys. Boring for the people playing. At least it's not boring, Professor Farnsworth.
I love cooking my family and my pets. Wow. Try, trying not to learn. What's going on? He's saying he likes to cook his family and his pets. It's like Hannibal Lecter or something. Mm hmm No, again, it's the, it's the no commas that he was saying. You know, that's what he was going for. It's like I, the, I told you this before. The, the panda bear eats, shoots, and leaves. That's a classic one. Let me start to do about this annoying night. One of these crazy nights. Yeah, I was definitely the best singer at karaoke yesterday. But uh, like I said, I was only there for like an hour. And there were only like 20 people total. Or max, at least. Mm -hmm. So, still, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm the best around. <laughs> Never ever ever gonna get me down. I don't know the lyrics to that, to that song. I can't take this night in here. Let's see. Good move there. Mm -hmm. I hate it when my opponents play those. Hey, Rufus Blunder. I don't really care about that bishop anyway. Oh my. He could have got you there, but he let you off the hook, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's really... I love being let off the hook. Yeah. And now it's just a very complicated position for white. <laughs> Less complicated for black. Oh, hang on, mate and one again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was mate and two. Come on, give yourself a little okay. credit. <laughs> I saw it. That's you know, true. Belatedly. Oh, Rufus Blunder, five hundred cent dues. Yay! Thank you, Rufus nice Blunder. Nice haircut, Spencer. Where's the color? I didn't. Uh, I haven't gotten a haircut in ever. But uh, I, I do want to color my hair and cut it. But I, I talk about this sometimes on the stream. I wanted to get two colors in my hair, and I've never done that myself. So I was gonna get it professionally done for the first time in my life, but then the pandemic struck, <laughs> <laughs> and I've been too afraid to go get my hair colored. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna have to wait on that, but uh, hopefully it, you know, we get less than a thousand deaths per day, and then I might go and uh, I might go and get my hair done. My hair did, or I might just bite the bullet and do it, do it to it. Get it done. Yeah, I need to get my hair cut. I haven't had my hair cut in so long. I like that Spencer is experimenting with his hair. Thank you. I like to do different colors. Wait, what happened? This took a pawn. He missed queen takes and king takes. <laughs> no, no. His knight was hanging because he hung at last move, so he just sacrificed it now for some reason. I like it anyway. All that hair fills half of the screen. <laughs> it's true. I do love having an audacious do. And uh, Karen, you were absolutely right about that. Uh, the poof. I'm definitely pro poof now. Yay, good. Mm hmm. Let's see. 
Yeah, the poof is. Um... Yeah, I've got the Huey Freeman hair from Boondocks. See if you got the technique for this. Pretty good so far. Love that triangulation. Nice pre-move. What else? Maybe some pre-moves? Nice. That's what I like to see. Pre-move. There you go. Now you're doing it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Pretty good technique. Almost perfect. <laughs> good game, Cameron. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so resistant to pre moves. I'm going to go down there now. You want a Coke, right? Yeah, in a can. Thank you, buddy. A can of Coke. Um, yeah, I'm just scared to do pre moves. I always um, do it wrong. <laughs> you did a great there. Yay! Thank you for the sensitives. I see. Is it Dan? Oh no, no it's somebody else. <laughs> I thought it was too long. All right, all right. Um. Anyway, remember it's okay to stalemate because a stalemate is a win. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here uh, we were talking about a six before castling. Castling's fine. I think you could even play c five now, and it's a little safer. Then, like, playing c5 here is, like, the worst. Because then this is stronger. Yeah. But anyways, a6 is a good move. Yeah, I should have done that. I realized afterwards, I'm like, ah. It's only because you traded the dark square bishops. Yeah. That's the important part. I knew You don't it. have to worry about that if you have a dark square bishop yeah. that could potentially take it. I knew it as soon as I did. I'm like, what do I do about that stinking knight? This all seemed good. I think you're fine here. Okay, but now there are some tactics. For example, your opponent could take here... And then play queen c2 check and take your knight. Oh, not really sure if that's good or not, but it's possible. Mm -hmm. Looks good to me. Yeah. Um, it's because your knight's loose. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And then you moved it to get his knight out of the way. Now here you're losing because this is winning. After takes, you should take your knight. Then your queen and bishop are both hanging and you lose a bishop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instead, luckily he took this. Now you're like winning, I guess. Yeah. Then, uh, of all the ways to stop mate, this is like the last one I would choose. Probably I'd play f5. Okay. But this seems okay, too. Then you played f5. Okay. Yeah, I was just trying to move fast. Right. I like to move it to move it. I like taking. That's a sharp way to go. Like, you could just stay here, but taking is, like, aggressive, like you want to win. Mm-hmm. Which I like. Although you, you didn't take it. It's kind of weird. That's the whole point of playing f5. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Hanging. I was just... This runs into knight g5, which he played. And you have to go back because your e-pawn's hanging. Here hung the knight, you can just take it. Free. Said he took this. That's why he sacrificed his knight. I was... His knight was hanging. I, see, I thought they were going to... Let's see, if I take the knight... Oh, no, because then I get a check. I was worried about that pawn. Oh, anyways, you just move your knight away. You take a knight. That's a knight. Mm-hmm. Like right. You got some, it's like a minor counterplay, but yeah, it's a knight. That's like worth a lot. Mm -hmm. Although your opponent didn't seem to think so. <laughs> He's like, take my knight, please. <laughs> well, the sideways moves are harder for a lower rate of people to see. That's probably true. Uh, backwards and sideways, definitely. Now, this is like a tough win 
because you don't have too many pawns. But, you know, it's an extra knight for zero pawns, so it should be a win. Uh, but your technique was good. Well, I didn't really see what happened around. Yeah, obviously he shouldn't be trading everything. That just makes it a very easy win for you. Probably here, this is the easiest way to win. Because he can't catch you, right? There, 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 clean. Let's see, whose turn is it right now? Yours, he just played here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there, there, there. Oh, okay, there, yeah. Clean. Well, this wins too, obviously. Then uh, the rest was just like kind of weird technique. Like you could just push, for example. Mm -hmm. But you took your sweet time. Triangulation there, that's nice. Probably you should just like go ahead and take the pawn so you never lose. Because mm -hmm. you could lose on time in, in theory. You take oh, the pawn, yeah. then you can never lose. Oh, yeah. But you like to, you played a little risky here. You almost played here, which is a great move, by the way. Mm -hmm. But you didn't want him to take your knight. You don't care about that, right? You should queen. But you played here, which is just as good, if not better. But, like, I wouldn't spend time, like, if I'm about to play this move and I have, like, you know, 15 seconds left, mm -hmm. and then they go here, which is the only legal move, I wouldn't care. Like, let him take the knight queen. I had no sense. Hey, Nassano, I had no sense of how much time I had left. Right, yeah, you, could, uh, you told me before, you're like, I don't know where the clock is. I, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're in Roswell. And then eventually you got it going. <laughs> I don't know why I was Good so enough. reluctant. To, let me see. It's because it's Alpha Neon. I can't see the name. Alpha Martian. Yeah, we are in Roswell. And your few exits up. Yeah, we don't know when we're going to open, but definitely we'd love to see you once we open. I thought Knight B8 was better than Knight F8. This better be something that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Knight F8. Yeah, I'm having a good day, Nisano. <laughs> I don't think anybody ever played Knight F8. Um. Oh, here. Oh, he wants to go there. I knew it would be something that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> well, you guys still have to ask the questions, though. No, but he's, you're, she's up a piece for nothing, so who cares? Well, I mean. This is like the last thing that you can criticize is this move. Like, maybe Night B, it's better, but it's, come on. Not for it's, peace for nothing. It's a valid question. <laughs> well, I guess, in the way that every question is a valid question. <laughs> <laughs> good game. All right, well, good game. Thank, Tough but fair. Thank you, Cameron. All right, well, so let's move on to some puzzles. And do we want to start with um, Hank's Mate and One's puzzle? All or? right, yeah, we can do that. Are you still there, Hank's Mate and One? So this is uh, seems like it's black to play. Hey, mine stranger. And uh, is this black to play? Uh, oh, it says white to play and win. Oh, uh, white to play and win. And we have white's perspective. Okay. That's so fine. we're both about to queen, huh? All right. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting puzzle so far. What I'm calculating. Beep boop beep. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty tough. I have one idea. I hear a noise. We did get a noise. Thank you, Hein Superman, for that sub. Yay. All right, let's see. I actually have an idea. Let's see. But why does that win trying not to learn? I'll just make the only reasonable move after that. I don't think, I don't see why that wins. Cameron, I don't think you understand the puzzle if it's so easy. There. I think you guys are like not uh, not understanding the puzzle because it's not very easy. I don't think that wins either chim chip in 01. At least I can't see how it does. They can, n n what is that? 
Nisanyo. I've seen that name. I've seen you here before. I never knew how to pronounce it. I always say Nisanyo. Nisanyo. But it... All right, so... That maybe that is the right move, but uh, you have to find Black's defense, obviously, frankly. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't solved it yet. All right, I'm going to just look for a minute. But I am getting close, actually. I think I found the right idea. Yeah, I, I did fall. I did find it finally. I think. Pretty sure. No, no, wait. It's still not easy. There. I don't know. It's white to play e Ewok Surfer. <laughs> oh, but somebody already answered you. Yeah, this one is, uh, people in the chat don't understand it, you know. It's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. That's when you know it's a good puzzle, though. It's deceptively difficult. Hmm. Oh, I have a different idea now. Let's see. Dang it. Right, I, okay, so I got the right idea, but I, I have to. It's tough because there's going to be so many moves to, that you have to defend. Like or win win against mm -hmm. you know, or beat I guess would be the right right word there. It's a lot of moves. It's a lot of damage. I'm actually not sure why a couple variations don't win, <clears throat> so I'm trying to find the defense to some of them, you know? Mm -hmm. There might be some crazy defense I don't understand. It's usually how it is. Okay, actually, I am starting to figure it out a little bit. Yeah, I like this puzzle. I still haven't gotten it, but I think I still see two winning variations. So I have to defend better. Hmm. Ah, okay, I'm understanding it even more now. No, I don't, I don't even know how to win anymore at all. <laughs> yeah, really. It's tough. I know. It's really tough. I think my Coke is here. That'll help you solve it. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I can't solve it. <laughs> I wonder if Archer can solve it. What? 
What's happening? You can't look at the chat at all. Okay. In fact, let, if, does the chat even know? I'm no. Just, okay, I'm going to minimize no, the it. the chat's ridiculous. Hey, do you want to look at the puzzle and see if you can solve it? It's white to play and win. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I'm gonna keep looking. Sorry, we're so slow. Hope you guys are out there trying to solve it too, but I can't even look at the chat anymore because right, somebody neither. gets it. Because you, I don't want to be told the answer. I mean, I'm ready to give up. <laughs> not even, not gonna lie, not gonna sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know either. Well, maybe I can discuss some of the variations I was looking at. Yeah, me too. I was thinking you have to queen. queen right, obviously. somebody was saying bishop, which I thought about briefly. The problem is after they queen and you take it, then you can't win. I'll just go here and there mm -hmm. until you stalemate me. You can't stop me from going there. You can only stop me from going here, which will be stalemate. Mm -hmm. So that's why making a bishop doesn't work. Queen, queen. Obviously, taking the queen's stalemate, that's the whole point of the right. puzzle. Right, so I was thinking, like, rook, maybe rook h4, I mean, queen h4, check. Well, what I was thinking was, you mean queen h2 check? I'm sorry, queen h1, can I get my square names right? Two. Queen h2, <laughs> yeah. check. Yeah, coming down that way. Well, I'll tell you what I thought. I thought that I want to keep my queen here so I can play king up mate. Mm -hmm. Like, if I play queen d1, then you check me. Yeah, I looked at that too. Yeah. Oh. The problem is, well, with queen d1, you could even go here. Mm -hmm. Now I can't move my king. That's true. It's against the rules. Yeah, I was looking at that move where you go queen e8, though. Because then you could block if you had to. But... Queen e8. This is queen e8. Right. I'm saying I was looking at that too. Right. As opposed to my queen h2 check. Oh, right. Yeah, queen h2 check. I looked at this, and then I thought maybe here. Mm -hmm. But here's the problem. They'll check you here. Or here? No, I think only here. Then if you go like this, they'll check you here. And now I think it's a draw. Yeah. Because you can... Oh, no, you can go here? I didn't see this move, actually. Mm -hmm. No, that doesn't win. I'll just trade. And then I'll stalemate again. Yeah. All right, so that still doesn't win. Hmm. So that's the problem, is this check, you can go here. So, then I thought about these queen moves. The problem with these two moves is that they'll go here and here. All right, a queen here, it's the same trick. Mm -hmm. Then I thought maybe I could like do like this and this, but then I like gave up because I'm like, this is too much to calculate. You know, like they could still go here, and then if I block with the queen, they could still go here. And then I'm like, well, maybe then maybe it's queen f8, queen h3, then check here. I was like, come on, <laughs> I don't want to calculate all this. You know, because it still like seems like both these moves draw anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's when I wanted to give up, because I'm just too lazy. Or and or untalented to find it. <laughs> um, there are other options like queen h7. No, I just check should be a draw. Check should be a draw. 
So that's why I wanted to give up. I don't know if you had any other ideas. Any other bright ideas? <laughs> no, I was looking at those same ideas, but I, my calculation ability isn't. Spencer, you're very mm. close. I felt like I was close, but I can't quite mm. do it. Hmm. Promote queen, but go to g8. That's what I said, but then here. All right, queen mm. h2 is the problem. Hello, intelligent. Then, then e8. Ah, what? Wait, how? Oh, now I can't go here. Ah, yeah, see, that was the problem with queen e8 at once, was queen g7. So you provoke it there. But then this doesn't win. I mean, this doesn't draw, rather. Because I guess you'd have to do this. No. But why doesn't this still draw? think it does because we can always give like this check and check there so I don't know and then e8 then back to h8 what <laughs> what are you talking about that doesn't make sense just go here oh after the check after the check Yes, oh my goodness. I was never gonna solve that. <laughs> that is too crazy. I would never, ever, ever solve that. Ba after the check. I can't even solve it when you tell it to me. <laughs> that is amazing, wow. Dang. That is really nice. That is really nice. It is nice. I was just you know, you wanna go here, but then it's queen g7, so you go here first then queen e8, then check, and now they can't do the same trick again. Wow. So my question is, why doesn't queen f8 first win? Like, why can't I go queen f8, and then if here it's the same thing, where I play here, and then check in here if you play queen h4. Does queen f8 also win in this case? Or is there some sort of strange defense? Oh, there's this move. Mm -hmm. There's that, of course. Of course. So the queen f8 doesn't work because of this. Wow. He'll probably say that in the chat in 10 seconds or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too tough. I could never solve that. Yeah. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Very subtle. Mm -hmm. Very subtle stuff. Yeah. Really good. Much harder than the puzzles we'll look at today. Hey, we got a nice raid coming here. Yeah, that here. was hard. 44 people. Yay! Thank you, Charlotte Chestner. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice. Yeah, give him a little shout. Oh, you have to type shout out. Yeah, right? I got to fix that dumb command. All right, SO is easier. <laughs> nice. We're just looking at some puzzles for all you raiders of the Lost Ark. Yay, welcome. <laughs> nice. Welcome, everybody. Oh, you missed a great one. Yeah, that one was so hard. Yeah. Just, we spent, you know, probably too long, but that was... <laughs> no, it was, it was worth it. Cause we, yeah, it was worth it. We, we were, like, scratching the surface of it, <laughs> and we, we got it. Like, Yay. Somewhat. Thank you, guys, we got some of the ideas. for the raid. All right, so let's, uh, let's do it to it, huh? Okay, next puzzle. Oh, the first one from this book. We've been looking at this book before, remember? Cover my face. <laughs> <laughs> the John M's book, right? Yeah, John M's. International Grandmaster. Mm -hmm. That's when you're like an IM and a GM put together. Hangs Maiden one says, I'm too bad at chess to know if a puzzle is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I understand that. Because I, I remember when I was like first starting to teach chess, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to know what to show your students, you know? Mm -hmm. So I would show stuff often that was way too difficult or maybe even too easy. Mm -hmm. And you just don't know unless you have some experience, you know, showing puzzles to people. Double shout out with two different results. Yeah. All right, what does that mean? Hey, Alt F4 Pro. <laughs> All right, so the, each of these puzzles has like a little blurb underneath it. So like not really a hint, I guess, but mm -hmm. just like telling you what happened. These are all puzzles from old Soviet championships. Oh, cool. That's the, the title of the chapter. So this one 
it's black to play. In the game, black's up the exchange, so black, uh, we go moves only. Black, like, took here, right? And then white took with the knight, probably, yeah. And then black eventually won, because black's up the exchange for a pawn, and it's probably winning, but it's tough, you know? Mm -hmm. Instead, black can uh, be devastatingly winning, where the game can resign. You know, the guy can resign after the combo. So find that move. You're saying, though, that what really happened was black took on e4? Yeah, and then he eventually won when he's, like, up in exchange for a pawn, and it was tough. Okay, but, but there was something else. Something hey, Mrs. Better. Salmon, how's it going? We will not flip the board. Sorry. <laughs> I usually ask for that, Mrs. Salmon, but then I've been told and I've now conceded that it's probably better to always have it this way, even though it's harder. I, so I get it. But we're going to force our brains to work this way <laughs> because it's good for us. All right, so there's a better move. All right, for black. All right. Let's see. Looks like C.L. Smith already is on the right track here. Mm -hmm. C.L. Smith beat you to the punch there, trying not to learn. Oh, and he said beat me to it. <laughs> but you beat me to saying that you beat him to it, or vice versa. Whatever that, <clears throat> whatever I meant, you know, <laughs> whichever is funniest. All right, let's see. All right, C.L. Smith is correct there. He got the uh, he got the coordinates better than you did. <laughs> Karen, why are you taking lessons from Spencer? I believe you've beaten him over the board. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> I haven't beat you over the board. No. Mm -hmm. Maybe he, they meant like they you took up like you picked up a wood chessboard and beat me with it. Yeah, no, I can't. That's I've much more likely. <laughs> even if I even if I had beat you over the board, that doesn't mean you can't teach me. Like. Right. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, that's not true. It's black to play, Rufus. As I mentioned, in the game, black played knight takes e4, but he has a better option. More like over the head instead of over the board. Yes. Maybe when I was little. Karen didn't know me when I was little. Well, she knew me like five years ago, but I was uh, about the same size. <laughs> <laughs> we'll that's, that's right, C.L. Smith. That's what... Uh, that's like the part you have to understand. Hey, you guys are mostly right. Yeah, you're you're right, I would say. Trying not to learn. Oh, I think I have it. Tell me about it. Maybe. <laughs> Um, I could say rook takes f2 check. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing king will take. Yeah. If or not, then that's a good move. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then you could... It's queen... still black to move. What? I'm telling on the chat. Oh, sorry. Then if you say queen takes d6... Mm hmm and then if the queen takes, then you could fork right. by taking the bishop on e4. Absolutely. Is that right? Yeah. Yay! Yeah, now, <laughs> the queen doesn't really have to take, but there's actually nothing else white can do. That's the, yeah. the tricky part. That's why black didn't do this, because this, this would be, for a Soviet championship, not very difficult mm -hmm. for the players if uh, if it, if white like was absolutely forced to take, I guess. But, well, obviously, you just didn't think about it, because mm -hmm. he would play it if he saw it. But yeah, there's no move here for white. That's the tricky part. That white uh, loses the bishop no matter what now. There's no move that the queen can play to defend the bishop. Right. And the queen's <laughs> hanging. So like if the queen goes back to f4, you trade queens and take it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a nice puzzle. Like if this pawn wasn't here, this wouldn't work. You just play queen check. Right. Or even bishop check. Mm -hmm. 
or queen here check, you know. Just get out of the way. Definitely. So a nice little trick there. That was a nice puzzle. Definitely. Now what are people saying here? Ewok surf for attention is free, my dude. How can she not be your mom? You have the exact same laugh. Yeah, you were probably thinking of Archer that she beat over the board. That's her, oh, her that's biological Oh, son. yeah, yeah. We, we don't have the same laugh, do we? Perhaps, perhaps not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Not that I mind if we do. Um, Nothing to be ashamed of. My mom beat me when I was little, and we didn't even play chess. <laughs> <laughs> we are mostly right. Wait, I forgot. This is yeah. the nice stream. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my uh, my biological mom is even stronger of a chess player than Karen. Oh, yeah. Did, she had a title, right? Yeah, W-I-M. W-I-M, yeah. She got that title on a whim. <laughs> um, let's see. Pat, hey, Pat Sirius, working class hero. <laughs> well, I mean, Spencer wouldn't be ashamed if I beat him. It's just I'm so much lower. A little. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying if it's because I'm lower rated. If, right. If I were close to your rating, you wouldn't be ashamed. No way. It's just because, you know, someone my rating shouldn't be beating you. Word. Um, Word up. Bird up. The worst show on television. <laughs> Sam Mortlock says, last time I caught the stream live, Karen and Spencer were struggling to locate New Zealand on a map. <laughs> <laughs> it, was on, it was on my shirt. That's true. A map of my shirt. <laughs> All right, this one's white to play. Just All right. Let me just make 100% sure I set it up right. But it looks like I did. All right, you said white to play? Yes, white to play. All right, let me take a peek. In the game, white played queen d2, exchanging queens. But can you find anything stronger? You should just say no. Queen d2 is correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, something stronger. All right. Spencer's a ge geography wearing type of guy. Oh yeah, I am wearing another another map today, and I have a Pokemon badge on my oh, shirt too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to show it off to the camera. Yeah, I didn't never notice. It's, uh, it's the fighting type. <sighs> it's kind of tough for me to lean forward like that. <laughs> <laughs> fighting type, Jim. I don't know if these are from generation two or four, but it's either two or four. I'm not sure. Wait, and what are they playing in the game? Queen d2 okay, but to trade the queens. Okay, so we don't, we're not doing that. And his f pawn's hanging, so he's defending his f pawn. Mm hmm Okay. You defeated the fighting type gym master, I see. Yes. Nice shirt, nice guy. Well, at least half of that's true. <clears throat> Spencer don't need pillow when sleeps. <laughs> I heard that last time too. Remember, because my hair is so poofy that oh, I don't. Yeah. Need, I don't need a pillow. Let's see. Yeah, I still do. I actually use uh, two pillows. I got one like under my head, and then I hold another one. And I sleep sideways. So I still, it's like three pillows with my hair. <laughs> and that didn't work. Uh, Can you say poof nowadays? <laughs> I guess it is, uh, in some contexts, uh, homophobic. Poof? Yeah. I didn't even homophobic know that. Homophobic slur or something. Oh, what Maybe does it mean? Maybe not really a slur. What does it mean? Well, it's homophobic slur, so, you know. So that's all it means. <laughs> well, I, what, but what does it stand for? A gay person or something? Yeah, else? I think so. Never even heard that. I only heard it on uh, Arrested Development when they, <laughs> they're magicians, so they, uh, so poof is like what you do in magic, like poof, you're yeah. gone, like vanished, you know? Uh -huh. So there's poof magazine that's for magicians, but there's also some gay jokes in there. Mm. Yeah, I never knew all this. It's yeah. more of a British term. Yeah, that's right. It's a British term. Oh, okay. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know really how offensive it is in, you know, in the UK. Since uh, I don't live there. You know, I don't hear it very often. 
Mm -hmm. All right, this one seems hard. Let's see. That's an interesting variation, Mind Strangler, but I would improve on Black's second move. I wouldn't play the very the move you played on for Black on the second move. I wonder if it tells me the <clears throat> who played this game. It does. It does. So the first game was uh, Makaganov with black. Interesting. I never heard of the guy with white. Mm -hmm. This game is Aronin, not to be confused with Aronian. Yeah. Aronin against Tolush. I've heard of those guys. A lot of these games are Aronin and Tolush playing different people. Yeah, Aronin was no joke. Still not as good as Aronian. Yeah. Got to get that extra syllable in there. <laughs> you want to be really strong. Darn, I don't see this one. Um. That's uh, That might be correct, Cameron, but you got to give me a variation. You can't just tell me the first move. Yes, Lear, Lear T, or Leert. <laughs> uh, that variation was given already, but I can improve on Black's second move. You can defend better with Black in that position on, on move two for Black there. Yeah, but Cameron, you got to give me the whole variation. You can't just give me move one. Come on. <laughs> That's not how it works. Okay, I have some. I have an idea. Let's see. Doesn't seem quite right. Why don't you uh, tell me about it? Um, let me look one more time. Okay. Yeah, I can't quite get to the end. So I'm not sure. I can. Just, I don't know. I was thinking bishop takes d five. Okay. And then what? And the bishop takes. <laughs> Agreed. Then I was thinking maybe knight g5 check. Okay. And then if pawn takes, then queen h5 check. Mm hmm And then if the black with the rook. Um, You'd probably resign there. <laughs> I think. Oh, Okay. So that's not it. No, you, then you I was took all your pieces. Queen f5 check. All that's right. illegal. Uh, There's a pawn on g5 in your variation. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I can't, <laughs> I can't see all that, that very well. Okay. I'm not yet married. Do but, they have uh, the answer in the chat? Is they it? are, like, pretty close. Okay, I'm not going to look. But they're there. not. Uh, they keep giving the same variation where black can defend better on move two. Oh, okay. Jadrick. Jadrick? Hard to see because you got the neon name. Mm. Who's asking if you're married? Cooper. CJ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cooper. I can't look at the chat. <laughs> but the chat is like almost there. They're, if anything, they're making it more complicated than they should. Oh. It's actually a little bit easier than the chat thinks. Darn. I can't figure this one out. Well, you had some of the right ideas. All right, well, let me just look yeah, slightly keep it going. more. I don't want the chat to get bored and leave the stream. They won't. They, don't, <laughs> they can't even figure it out, so what are they going to do? <laughs> I'm just very slow. Um... You're getting a little closer, Pet Serious, but you sort of messed up the end of your variation there. 
Cameron, you hung your queen in that variation at the end, just by take your queen at the very end. A lot of times you guys are like, you have the right idea and then you're just throwing in random moves sometimes <laughs> like that don't really affect anything. So it seems like you, you might know it, but nobody's really given uh, what I would say is the actual correct answer, <clears throat> like, you know, the proper answer. Hmm. If anything, they're given like too much information, TMI, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Darn, I hate it when I don't know it. Well, the guy with white who didn't play it was uh, a Ronin who uh, was pretty dang good, so you don't have to be too embarrassed. <laughs> Everybody misses stuff sometimes. I'm not embarrassed. I'm yeah. Well, you could be a little embarrassed. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating. <clears throat> Uh, cracks that variation makes absolutely no sense. Like a couple moves are illegal there, and <laughs> gotta stop smo stop smoking the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> I had an illegal move too. Cracks. <laughs> what book are we following? It's the uh, the Ultimate Chess Puzzle Book by John M's. Good book. Okay. All right, N M is better than N N. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but you know in uh in people always talk about how NN would lose every game. Mm -hmm. That's just because they wouldn't post your name if you lost a chess game back in the day. They would just not uh they would just not, you know, that they wouldn't want to embarrass you, I guess. Was the point. Oh, really? Yeah, so they just wouldn't uh Oh. They wouldn't post your name. That's why I didn't I know that's what it was. It wasn't because necessarily they were not good players. I thought it was just because they had bad record keeping or something. Like no, yeah, they were on, it was intentionally bad record keeping. Oh. But uh, also a funny example of that was when uh, Korchnoi defected mm -hmm. uh, from Russia, so or the Soviet Union, I mean. So uh, he, th they like, they would refuse to put his name on any games that he played. Mm-hmm. What, in like Russian informants so uh, it, but they you still wanted to see his games because he's playing like Karpov and stuff you know he's playing right. like good players so a lot of times they would say like NN is beating like Timon and Karpov <laughs> like NN got really good when it was Korchnoi being NN you know but then when it was an 1800s NN you know playing Morphe and stuff then no good <laughs> mm -hmm. I bought that Bobby Fisher teaches chess book I heard it was pretty good, but I actually don't know anything about that book personally. I never, uh, I never even opened it. But I've seen it around, around town. <clears throat> well, that's true, uh, Jad, Jad Nick, Jad Rick. Still, it's the neon green. I can't see it. Well, maybe I can see it on this maybe one. Maybe if you do. It is Jad Nick. Nick G five. But that's not. I wouldn't exactly call that the critical variation. Mm -hmm. Wow, Cooper, that's the variation that Karen gave. But Queen F5 checks illegal, as I told Karen. You're jumping over the oh, G5 so pawn. Well, what about knight G5 check, mm -hmm. and then H takes, and then F takes? Yes. And then you're attacking the rook with the pawn, and then you could go Queen H5 check. Well, it's black's turn, so what would black do first? Um, move the rook back. F2. Wouldn't? F7? Um, you said F2, but I assume you mean F7. Yeah. I mean, they're going to just let me take their rook. All right. So, okay, if they move back to F7, then what would you do? They could go rook G6. I guess. All right, those are the two moves. So what would you do uh, against both those moves? Okay. Um, all right, if rook F7... And then uh, queen queen h five. Why are you playing that? Um, 
you oh, don't yeah. need to Oh, yeah, I would have needed to, Yeah, I would just take the fish. Yeah, out. exactly. This is what people in the chat were doing. They were yeah. throwing in, like, Queen H5 at <laughs> random points. Well, I was trying to see if I could like make... that. But this is the right idea. But, um... Check, takes, takes. Now, if, if you guys, if the rook goes back, you just take the bishop. Right, right. Okay. You don't have to do Queen H5 yeah. check there. A lot of people were given Queen H5 check and such. Mm -hmm. it's so hard you don't if... need to do that. Okay, yeah. And if rook g6, then it's queen h5 check. Right. Because it's okay. a fork. Yeah. And you can't block with rook h6. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. But, yeah, you have to play f takes first, which is what Cameron said, but he stopped the variation after here, which I guess a strong player would do that because they would just say, no, black can't do anything because of those variations. But in, in a puzzle, you're supposed to, like, make sure that you actually end the position winning material. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, it's hard to visualize for yeah. lower writers like that many moves. Um, so what do people say? And hey, Leon Jansen, 89, you know, Ben, uh, Finn Bongold is doing well. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's going to stream, um, soon. What are people saying? Um, Cooper says, I'm so bad at chess. Me too. <laughs> did we miss some chat or did you already read it all? I think I read most of it. You said it, and Spencer ignored Jesus Cameron. Yeah, that's not true. Obviously. Aww, we try not to annoy pe ignore people and annoy people. Um. <laughs> All right, I was just looking at the chat for a minute. Okay, the usual rabble. <laughs> All right, so here it's black to play. Okay. This is nice because you could have this position with black. Queen's Gambit declined exchange variation. Definitely. What's wrong with the move knight e4? Well, what am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to tell you what's wrong with it or find That's what I asked. <laughs> what's wrong with the move knight e4? All right. Um, let's see, knight e4. Let's see what game this was, although this is like obviously a million games in this position, I would guess. Oh, maybe a thousand. Oh, I went too far. It's tough. See, I don't read any books, so it's like really tough for me to hold a book even. This is Kotov Petrosian. And Petrosian did play knight e4. Wow. Crazy. I think Petrosian of all people would blunder on move seven in the most solid opening possible. Mm -hmm. This is the game C.L. Smith, many random internet opponents. <laughs> yeah, but Mike Anderson, we can improve on Black's defense there on move one of your variation. That's not what black would, would play in response to your variation or to your move on move one. Got to try to find the best defense. Otherwise, any move wins if you play a bad defense for the opponent, right? That's right, ookie pookie, sort of, almost right. I mean, you're, you're right, you just typed the wrong square. Yeah, my dad did have a Queen's Gambit lecture. It was, a, it was, I believe it was a sponsored lecture. But he only looked at, uh, like, Bishop G5 in the main line. Mm -hmm. Queen's Gambit declined. He didn't look at the exchange variation, I don't think. I mean, he briefly did, like, he had, like, a little overview at the beginning where he looked at every line, every main line, more or less, a little bit. Most main lines, I guess. Oh, it's GM Benjamin Feingold in the chat. Speak of the devil. <laughs> hey, GM Benjamin Feingold. Yeah, can you believe Petrosian played 94 here? GM Benjamin Feingold? It was 1949, though, so I don't know how old Petrosian was. But if it's the Soviet championship, he wasn't weak. To put it that way. I only play the Queen's Gambit Refused. Or refuted. 
<laughs> so I can't read. Just when I play the Queen's Gambit and my moves are instantly refuted. Sometimes people do call the Queen's Gambit decline. The Queen's Gambit refused, though. Like, you might see that in a book. Mm -hmm. GM Benjamin Feingold says 94 is bad. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is bad. He was 20. Dang, he was 20? He played that? I thought he was, like, you know, 10. <laughs> no, I don't know. Queen's Gambit rejected. Yeah, that's like if you're playing basketball and they go up for a layup. Like, rejected. Karen, when I play you, I might start playing D4 because I hate the French. That last part was in all caps. That's why I screamed it. Yeah. Let's see. And then you'll have to face this position, Cameron. You'll be white here. Not quite, C.L. Smith. Okay. You need to, well, first of all, you need to uh, learn about the squares a little bit better. <laughs> but I still know what you meant. But in the, your parenthetical variation, that's not bad for black. The one you put in parentheses there, that's not bad for black. Can't we look it up in that book? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Would be easier. <laughs> yes. That's how you do it in a, like in, in a math textbook, like in school. It, it'll just tell you the answer in the back. Why are you doing all that work? Come on. Oh, dang, Pet Sirius is uh, really on the ball. I think he's the first one who really got it correct. Yes. How come Pet Sirius is so good at solving the puzzles? But then when he plays, it's like terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have more time to do the puzzles. That's true. But I think it's more of a, uh, like, a, like Pet Sirius doesn't look at his forcing moves during the game. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Yeah, Ookie Pookie, you, you got it, although the coordinates were incorrect again, but yes. I believe you, Seth. I believe you had it. That's true, Pet Serious. You did miss a... You did hang a piece. I forgot because I'm refuting everybody's variations. It's hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Petrosian. Yeah, Petrosian was my favorite world champion. I really liked his style. Yeah, that's true. Chat could use some coordinates practice. Although I mess up the coordinates too sometimes. This happens to the best of us. Not that I'm the best of us, but well, I guess of us, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you uh, tell us some variations you were considering, <laughs> at least? Um, well, I was considering two or three different things. I don't sure. know. Sure. Right, I was considering immediately and taking the bishop on e7. Mm-hmm. Then what would black do? Take with the queen. Probably, yeah. Then I wasn't really sure about the follow-on with that. Um, so well, that does happen to be correct. You just don't see the move after that. Well, I see knight takes d5, and then you take, and you can get a queen check, but I couldn't really figure out anything beyond that. It wins a pawn. Well, I couldn't see how it wins a pawn. You, you took an extra pawn in that variation. Oh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> That's Was that correct, what I just said? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it, it it wasn't adding up for me. 
Let me see. Okay. So oh well, you know what? You didn't actually say the last move, so maybe you were thinking of a different last right. move than so I let me, was. Let me see. Okay. So you got to tell me the whole move. Okay. Nothing so but the move. So help you God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So ninety four. Okay. And bishop takes e seven. Mm -hmm. Queen takes e seven. Knight takes d five. Yeah. And then. Um. I guess C takes D5. It's the only logical move. Mm -hmm. Then Queen A4 check. Oh, see, that's not the right check. Oh, Queen, um, oh yeah, the Knight's not there anymore. Um, wait, which check? I could check with the Bishop too. Wait, let me see. Uh, yeah, that's right, but you got to visualize that last All move. All right, let me try to get there. It's hard you can for me do to it. visualize that many. <laughs> I got you. Oh, so there, there, Queen. And, uh, um, this is Queen A4 check won't give me anything. Should a beginner study the Rui Lopez? No, you should calculate stuff like this. This Maybe. is what you should be doing if you're a beginner. Maybe Bishop A5 check. Except easier than this. Let's see what I'm going to do. That's a good uh, good piece of advice, Hangs Mate in One. If you sub, then you won't uh, won't have to worry about any of those ads. I don't know if I can get all the way there. You want me to show you? Yeah. All right. I'm just kind of stuck at the end. At I the end, you'll see it because it'll be all on the board yeah. for you. <laughs> now what should white do? Um, let's see. I still don't see it. Hmm. I thought you would. Mm hmm Well, I mean, the only checks that I even see are Bishop B5. Don't forget all your captures, though. Checks aren't the only thing you have to look at. Yeah. True. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> your queen takes um, c8. Yes, which the, is also a check. Yeah, I wasn't going to say. I just can't visualize that many. I mean, I have so, a hard time even seeing that on the board. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, Petrosian missed that one. I think he didn't take on d5. Mm -hmm. Here, I think he moved his queen, although he can't. So I don't know what he did. Dang. Hmm. Probably cried. <laughs> I guess he can move his queen back. No, that's check, so you still can't do that. Can't go here because it's a fork. Yeah, tough. Tough life. <laughs> <laughs> tough life. Yeah, big blunder by Petrosian there. And you said he was playing who? Uh, I forgot. Kotov mm. or something. Mm. I'll probably look it up in a second. Got a new man, Karen. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Um, if it's free, it's for me, says Kangaroo. That's fair. <laughs> um, this is what happens when you start over concentrating. <laughs> it's Kotov. Kotov. With white. Yeah, Kotov's mm -hmm. pretty good. Nice. Um, 
how Grandmaster Lee was Petrosian's crying skills. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure he didn't uh, <laughs> didn't cry too much. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there were parts of his life that were tougher than losing a chess game. <laughs> That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, I don't know much about his life, but that, I guess that goes for anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, do we, I think we have time to do another puzzle. Oh, I thought maybe you'd play some people because we only got 20 minutes left. Oh. Um, um, I was enjoying the puzzles. Well, you could do another puzzle then. No, let's do another puzzle. All right, let's do one more puzzle. Mm -hmm. That's fair enough. <laughs> ben is an old man, not a new man. <laughs> Yeah, old we, man, take a look. Yeah, at my we'll life. do. Yeah. Okay, one more puzzle, and maybe I'll play somebody at the end. Not sure. It. Ben is supposed to start streaming at five. That's true. And I didn't hear him come in. Did he's you? probably on his way. Yeah, because he's not in the chat anymore. Um. <laughs> Let's see who else is streaming right now. Make sure this is right. Looks like it's equal material. So black never played f6 terrible. And now it's white to play. So here, white checked. Black blocked it. This is important to remember okay. for the puzzle. And then they traded bishops. Then he moved his bishop away. Okay. And it was about equal. All right. And they soon drew. Okay. But... There's a problem with this variation. Mm -hmm. So you have to find the hole in the variation. Okay. Yeah, I like this book. I think it's very practical. I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure Ben ordered this book before. I believe it. Before we even opened the chess club, and it's just now getting used. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So there's a problem with that variation. Yeah. For I can leave the arrows. White, you mean? It's just a problem. Oh, okay. Got to figure it out. Yeah, you can leave them. All right. Now people are going to ask me, like, whose turn it is. I won't even know what to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just look at these arrows. That's whose turn it is. Okay, so there. Kotov was a candidate. He has a famous king hunt win as black against Averbach, which uh, was spelled slightly incorrectly. He doesn't miss tactics much. Well, yeah, most candidates wouldn't. But you wouldn't think Petrosian would miss <laughs> tactics much, right? Mm -hmm. He probably missed less tactics than uh, Kotov. That was, it, that was one of the things he was known for: is not letting, uh, not letting people uh, do tactics to him. You know, he's a very strong prophylactic player. Yeah, but Mr. Sommin, you have to uh you have to play out that variation a little bit more. Just giving me one move. Come on. Hmm. What is Ben's favorite item on the McDonald's menu? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a tough one because uh coffee. <laughs> yeah, he can't really have anything. <laughs> yeah, he does he doesn't eat there. He's uh too vegan for that restaurant, if you can call it a restaurant. But I really like the uh buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich, personally. But I try to limit my fast food intake. I try to. I don't always succeed. But really, uh, you know, I try to limit the carbs. I think it's uh, it's not healthy to eat no carbs, though. But a low-carb diet is, is okay. Low carbs, not no carbs. 
So why wouldn't they just block with the G pawn? All right, that's a good suggestion. What would White do then? Well, now they have two pieces attacked. Mm -hmm. The oh oh, that's right. They could take the F pawn then. Hitting the rook. Mm hmm. That's true. Let me see what happens. Maybe that won't happen. Mm. You look great, dude. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> I try my best. <laughs> Some I remember somebody in the chat was like, uh, "Looks like Spencer's hitting the gym." And I was thinking, yeah, maybe hitting the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they wouldn't do that because they would lose. A row. Well, maybe you should uh, take that variation a little further. further okay, All right, so if they block with the pawn, there's so many carbs. A few bad carbs give the rest a bad name. <laughs> That's true, Seth. Isn't that how it's uh isn't that how it always is? If you get a haircut, you'll lose some weight. <laughs> That's true. But you know curly hair uh weighs less like it it weighs less per you know, per mass. I don't know how you describe it. Because it's it's a little thinner. That's why it's curly. It's like when you get a balloon at a store, and then they, sh they you know how it has like a string attached to it? Mm -hmm. uh, a, like a, a nylon string, I guess. And then they shave one side of the nylon string to make it curly. Oh, yeah. That's like what hair does. That's why I have curly hair, because one side's a little bit thinner. And so it curls the hair. Yeah? Yeah, that's how. That's why my hair is curly. That's why people who have curly hair, that's why it's curly. Oh. Interesting. So let's see if they go bishop h5, and then if they go g6, and then if bishop takes f6. Pat, serious, you're very close, but then they could your go. last move can be improved upon for black there. Could go bishop h6 check. Mm. Well, that's true, Mike Anderson, but check out Pat Sirius's variation for an improvement. Let's see. Last time I shaved my hair, I went bald. <laughs> well, that's fair. Well, Scottish Demon Goat, that makes less sense than Pat Sirius's move. Well, Seth, you're just trying to find the best play or you're just trying to find the problem with this variation that happened in, in the game. That's all. You're always trying to play the best for both sides, really. Oh, Hermione's in here. Getting, uh, getting in right before we raid GM Benjamin Feingold. So did you continue this variation yet, or what? I'm trying at. different things. Okay, just wondering. <laughs> well, maybe you could tell me what you were looking at. Um, well, I was, okay, so if they go um, bishop h5, mm -hmm. check, and if they go g6 right. to block it off, then it seems like they would go ahead and take on f6. Yeah, they have to. So bishop takes on f6, attacking the rook. Mm-hmm. Then, black could go, but I don't know if it's helpful, bishop h6 check. Mm -hmm. Then, um, I don't know if that's even helpful, so yeah, that's one idea. And the only reason I would say that's even useful is maybe the rook could then come over on the F square. Still have that hanging bishop. Ookie pookie, you only got one coordinate wrong. It was the very last, uh, he asked what coordinate did you get wrong. It was the very last uh, number. <laughs> I can't even look at the chat because somebody has it already. So yeah. I don't know, but you still have the hanging bishop. 
So I'm sorry, after bishop h6 check, what was the move? g6. No, bishop, bishop h5 check, oh. g6, bishop f6, oh, bishop, bishop h6, h6 check. check. Um, I'm rated 2199 USCF. Oh, yeah, you could go then maybe attack their bishop, even though your bishop's still hanging. You could go rook f8. Yes, that's the idea, although... You know, white would play king b1 because white's turn. But yeah, rook f8's the yeah, idea. Fine. And this is what people were suggesting in the chat. Uh -huh. There is a slightly better move there, but I think that wins. So, so there's know, better. At, at least that's an a minus minimum. So better than rook f8? It's very similar. We can just look at it. Okay. I, th I think rook f8 should still win. So yeah, both sides just assumed after here takes that it was, uh, that black shouldn't do that, right? That's mm -hmm. why black did play here and then they just drew. Right. Boring. <laughs> here, there, check, here. Rook f8 was that everybody suggested. Mm -hmm. Which I guess that should that should win. But uh wouldn't you castle? Oh, it won't let me castle because it doesn't know that I'm allowed to castle. Mm. But I am allowed to castle. Oh what? It won't give me the option to castle? I can't like select the ability to castle because oh, I set up the position. Oh, set up position, yeah. So it doesn't know I have the right to castle. <laughs> Take, turn off, well, yeah, legal moves only. Yeah. Uh, I could turn off and just do it by hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is legal to castle there for the yeah. record. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, now both bishops are hanging is the point. Yeah. Both bishops are hanging. I oh, think, yeah. But rook f8 should also win. Yeah, but I, I can see that castle's better. Yeah, why not castle? That's got to be better. the same. Right? Thing Basically get your king same. safe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's just make sure that this is still winning, Rook F8, because I don't want to lie. I love the way you lie. Yeah, I should win. I was thinking maybe they could try like this, but... Oh, I have to also say now it's White's turn. That's ah, tough. Why won't they let me castle? I was thinking maybe like this, but then they can still go here. Because mm. hey. that still wins. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Don't you need to be 2200 for GM? Yeah, GM is 2500, and that's fee day instead of USCF, so it's and different. It's you also need to have norms, so it's a lot different. Is this one of Karen's games? No. Why is mm -hmm. black a piece up? It was, uh, I have to like keep doing this. It wouldn't let me castle in this position because I set up the board. Ah. You know, it's, it's crazy, right? It was like this. Just get rid of illegal moves. I, know, I did it by hand. Yeah. Okay, okay. It was like this, and then. Uh, like this, right? Uh -huh. This was here, and this was here. In the game, white checked, and then they blocked and traded. But obviously, it's correct to block here, and then mm -hmm. check, mm -hmm. and then castle. Mm -hmm. Or rook f8, I guess, wins too. Mm -hmm. Should win. But castling looks better. Yeah. Get the king out of the center. Hey, mm -hmm. didn't you order that book a long time ago? This puzzle book? I was book? trying to remember when we got it. Yeah. So I, I had a car wash that? issue. And he didn't answer. Oh. <laughs> when I go to the car wash, it often gives me the worst one, and then I have to go back and get it again and yell at them. Right. Uh. The reason it gave me the worst one this time, the person in front of me had their car in park. So okay. the, the, the belt tried to move the car, and the car's in park. Mm -hmm. So the thing just went like, like the car went up in the air. So, so then when they told the guy to put it in neutral, the, the car wash thought that that, was, that guy already went. So now it was off. Uh, so I got the car wash for the person behind me who I guess got the cheapest one. Oh, yeah, that did happen last time. So then I couldn't go back and complain because there was a line already. I had to come here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no, that is annoying. Hey, did yeah. you hear me? Did, did you order this book or do you remember? Did I order that book? Yeah, like a long time ago. This... Oh, they're talking to him. No, oh. I was asking you. Oh, maybe. Because that, that yeah, one came look from at this home. Puzzle. I brought maybe. that book from home. It's maybe. white to play and win. Yeah, I've seen this. Oh, yeah? I don't know the answer, but I've seen it. It's too, it was too hard for me, but I almost Oh, got yeah, it. it's insanely hard. Da, yeah. da, then I know. Da, da. I've seen the answer, but I gotta remember. Show him right now. Oh, yeah, sh yeah I am showing it. Cameron, yeah. come on. <laughs> yeah. No, I've Please, seen this. Karen. Everybody's getting crazy about it. <laughs> Everybody wants to see your skills. Yeah, it's like you queen, then you move your queen along the eighth rank, I think. Then yeah. you check and go back. I mean, I've seen it, but it's... And you it's, have to check and go back, it's been, right? it's been like... I've seen this puzzle at least four times. And Here. every time I see it again, I can't solve it anymore. Then you have to go... Uh, yeah, you move somewhere in the 8th rank, I think. This one. 
Right, then queen a2. Then here, because now they can't right. play queen there. They can't play queen here and stop your king from moving. Why not? It's illegal. Oh, yeah, that's a good reason. Right. Then if queen a4, you check and go back to h8? Yes, yes. Is that you right? check and go back to h8. Yeah. And also queen f, this is my favorite part, queen f8 doesn't work with the same idea. Uh huh. Uh, and then here, because this move forces the queens off right. the board. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That's too crazy. Mm -hmm. And they can't play queen a1 at the end of the original variation because you take it with check. Right, right, right. Yeah. Hangs yeah. maiden one brought that puzzle in. That is a good puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to hang maiden one, too, because it's. You know, so you saw the puzzle and still couldn't solve it. Dang. Oh, yeah. Well, you could, I guess. Yeah. But, you know. I would have solved it. It taken me several minutes. Right, yeah. right. That's what I figured. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember I showed, uh, I was showing a puzzle to Tony Rich, and then he couldn't solve it, and I just told him. Then you showed up, and I asked you the answer, and then you did it in, like, five seconds. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember that. It was, like yeah. a, it was like this. It was like a queen triangle, yeah. too. It was kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny. Right, I'm doing five minutes today, everybody, so... Four oh yeah, get ready so we can raid you. Four hours of that. Yeah, we'll just keep going until you're ready. Yeah. So um, I maybe could play one game. Well, you could play that three-minute game. Mm -hmm. Against the uh, Scottish Demon Goat. Neb, good old Neb. <laughs> well, maybe ads makes me sad, Ewok Surfer. You you know the solution to that, Ewok. Yeah, you could get a sub. You, you know, know I'm just it. saying. I don't. You know, I'm not. I'm too proud to beg, but the song Sweet is darling. the song is ain't too proud to beg. <laughs> Isn't that what he said? Yes, yes. Yeah. But um, you know, Please you you me. could do it, you know, and no ads. Inca, I did start playing chess when I was one year old. I knew how to play all legal moves. Well, I could play legal moves. I guess maybe I didn't know on Passant. <laughs> when you were one, all legal moves? Well, like I said, maybe I didn't know on Passant mm -hmm. <laughs> or yeah, Castling. My, um, but I could play, I could move all the pieces. Yeah, my um, older son, Holden, could play um, a full game of chess when he was two. I didn't even try to teach him prior to that because, um, aw, thank you, Seth. That's nice. Thank you for gifting that. Yay, See, everybody's happy. If you happy. just complain enough, people will give you stuff for free. <laughs> <laughs> it's called America. <laughs> but you got to get this game started already. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Him. So anyway, he asked me, Holden asked me when he was two if he could learn chess. Nobody was playing chess in my house. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. I had like one of those cheap chess sets from the grocery store that says chess on the side of the right. board. It also <laughs> has like checkers and other things. And he could read already because he was a very, very bright child. So I knew how to play the basic moves. So I taught him chess when he was two. And, um, but you know, he could move all the pieces. It's not the same as, you know. By right. the time he was three, he could do the stair stepper or ladder, whatever you want to call it, mate. He could do like a couple of basic mates. But yeah, uh, when, I, when I was one, I played a grandmaster. Not my dad, because he wasn't a grandmaster when I was one. Mm. It was Kaidenov. Oh, cool. I don't really remember how that game went, though. Mm -hmm. You know, because I was one. <laughs> I'm 16 and can't improve because I feel like I peaked. Well, I promise you if you're 16, you can get better at chess. In fact, when I was 17, I was under 1,400. And then within a year, I was about almost 1,900. Then I slowly climbed up to expert and master after that. So if you're 16, you could definitely get better. You could uh, easily be a master. Well, maybe not very easily, but... You gotta work pretty hard. Yeah, I'm surprised that that's um. Let's see, there's one. Yeah, like you always act like I don't know what it's like to be a weak player, but I do know what it's like to be a weak player. <laughs> I was 17. I was your your strength. And I was losing a. Th I wasn't like oh I was under 1400, but I was really 1700 strength. I was losing the 1300s, you know. I was still. Uh, I was that strength. It's a very good year. I was 502 years ago, now I'm 1150. That's really good. <laughs> what rating counts as an expert in chess? 2000 USCF. One year you gained 500 points? Yes, that's true. In one year I gained 500 points. I had a student, he was like in his late 50s, early 60s, and he was... Uh, about 500 strength and rating. 
Like he'd play, uh, he and his elderly friends would play at the chess club and he was like the best of them, but they would all beat each other. They were all like 500 strength, you know? Anyways, he started getting lessons with me for about a month or two. And he played in an under 1400, uh, he played in an under 1400 section and went five and zero, oh and won a thousand bucks clear first and gained, you know, a couple hundred rating points because his opponents were 1300, 1200. So if, if he can improve in his 60s or late 50s, then pretty sure whoever is listening to me talk about this can improve as well. Shit, a lot of stuff just went off the board. <laughs> That's true, but you do have two bishops, Vatels. Uh, what do I need to, to know to go from 1200 to 1300? Well, <laughs> that's about the same rating, so <laughs> I think just some tactics training will help you get there. Spencer, you have to tell me when you have space for new students. <laughs> yeah, maybe if when, I, when one of my students drops. I'm waiting for COVID to end so I can go out and earn some very low rating points, yeah? What's the biggest thing that gained you 500 points? Well, uh, I did a lot of tactics. I mean, I did hours of tactics a day. I, I you know, would solve tactics every day for several hours. And I was in college, but I didn't really go to class. So I didn't do anything but chess, really. So that really helped. I didn't uh, work too much on anything other than tactics specifically. You know, like I would study, for example, like technical end games or, or even like the opening if it occurred in a game that I played, I would just analyze my own games. You know, I think that's a good way to study the opening and end game. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good move. Don't go to class, right? Yeah, I was like school in July, no class. When I was talking about my rating in increase and and the under fourteen hundred guy, it was they were all those were all slow ratings. Those were that was like USCF slow rating classical stuff. Come on, you got a pre move okay. now. Okay. It's not pre moving. I. Uh, now you're talking. Great pre-move. Love it. Loving every minute of it, as the song goes. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So it's getting tough now. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you got some pre-moving practice in. Yeah. Uh-huh. Might not even be losing, but it will lose. <laughs> on the clue. Okay. Good game. Good game, yeah. Tough end game. Good night, game, Scottish demon. Time dog. makes fools of us all. <laughs> but all right, we gotta raid him now. All right, we gotta do the raid. Um, Otherwise, people will leave without us raiding them. Yeah, then don't. Don't do, go anywhere. Do not click on <laughs> on the um. Let me get it all yeah, set don't up. Don't touch that dial. Go over with the raid. Don't just yeah, click over there. It's come more on. fun if you it's go over with fun. the raid. It's more fun. Yeah, come on. You're not. You're just missing him rambling on, right. like, like a Zeppelin song. <laughs> you're not missing anything over there. Now, come on. All right. Benjamin. It's much more fun to go over and raid. All right. Thank you guys. I enjoyed this stream today. I hope you did. I, I know I did. Posts. Yeah, it was fun, and you know, somebody insulted us last night and said it's like watching grass grow. So, fuck you, whoever you were. <laughs> <laughs> Banned. Banned, but love all the rest of you. <laughs> and we'll see you soon, probably Tuesday. Yes. But love all you guys, and I was joking about that fuck you part. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, see ya.